Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. Are you there? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right. Hi. Yes. yes. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm no okay. Vacation. Oh, no vacation for me. I work. Really? All yeah. days? <laughs> Every day. Oh, my God. What about you? Um, I, 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 don't you remember? I, I told you. Oh yes, you I was that. in a project in Suchitoto. In Suchitoto, so, yes. So kind of make things and like so and kind of vacation, but working. Oh, how is Suchitoto now? Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And now I imagine. Now I imagine it's more beautiful. It's more. It's it's really a. a a clean city and people is all really nice. No, because, is good. because I, I remember that I think I had a student here in Les Corporativo. This student worked in this company where they make tilapias. And this company is in Suchitoto. And um, she told me that the problem was to go, I mean, they had a nursery, un vivero, nursery of tilapias in the lake. But she told me that the employers had to pay $1 every day to pass through the little pueblo near the lake to the Mareros. It's like uh, the company had to negotiate with Mareros. So, hey, let my people come and work, you know. I imagine now is not. Oh, there's no pandillero now. Yeah, so I'm I'm happy for that. That's good. Yes, it's a really good city. Yeah, it's beautiful. So she that's beautiful. All right, Angela, how are you? Uh, very well, teacher, and you? I'm good. How was your How was your vacation? Uh, in my house, uh, uh, in my house. <laughs> Remember, I told you the first first day, you have to say a complete a complete sentence because eso es salvadoreño. Y vacaciones, ah, en mi casa, en mi casa, what? <laughs> you can't you can't say that in English. In my house. That and... that that is like saying, that is like saying, how are you? Soft. <laughs> O sea, en el salvadoreño decimos al suave, al suave. But that doesn't mean, mean it exists in English, you know? So eso, like, ah, la casa, I understand. No vacation for you, you stayed home. <laughs> but in English, they will ask you, what? Home? House? What happened? You painted the house? Uh, so, in my house, they clean in the house, cooking, and so you say I stayed in my house. I stay in my house. <laughs> I stay in my house. Okay, cool. What about you, Bert? Hmm. Well, it I was a really smooth vacation because I stay at home also as Angela. And I dedicate some time to uh, to electronic. So I, I I'm so glad because I finally follow a tutorial in English and Spanish also. So this is related to the uh, or, uh, IOT, Internet of Things. So it's oh, really yeah, interesting. And where where do you um, IOT? Where do you select that? I mean, where where do you see that? Sorry, I had a noise surrounded because I had a lot of trucks striding. When you say <laughs> when you say IoT, mm -hmm. is that a web page? No, it's related to the uh, uh, 
circuit. I mean, I had a, a, a component that connect whatever you you need you want to connect to the internet. This is, for example, I'm building a, a lamp. So I want to turn it on and off through my an application and web application. Okay. So yeah, this is the device that I'm building. I will be able to turn the lights on and off from the mobile or any uh, web application. This so you make you you are making an app. Yeah, and a web app, and then a native app. And then maybe you will sell your app in Android. Yeah, and the device, of course, <laughs> because I'm building the device, the lab. Hey, interesting. Be, yeah, that's really nice. And that, that's what I've been done doing through the vacation. Hey, if you love what you do, it's good. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let me see. Claudia, how was your vac no vacation for you, right? Hello, good evening. Hello. Um, I didn't have vacation. <laughs> yes, the good thing that I didn't have to deal with the traffic jam. Yeah. That was a good thing. But tomorrow, back to reality. Yeah. Today, actually today. Yeah, today they were no, no, but yeah. today, today traffic yeah. was okay. At night. Mm -hmm. Oh no, at night no, but in the morning it was okay, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Lisette, how are you? How was your weekend? Hello, good evening. And in my vacation, I stay in my home because my daughter was sick. She got bronchitis oh. and allergy for medication. And I have a nervous, a nervous tick because I don't the stress. know. Yes. Oh, I man. don't know rest. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yes, I imagine you're very stressed. Yes. Oh, okay. Jonathan, how was your vacation? Good evening, teacher. Morning. Good in, morning. <laughs> in, in my vacation, I moved at uh, my new house. With your family or by yourself? With my family. All right. Where did you move from to? Um, I moved uh, to Apopa. No. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. From Apopa to San Martin. Okay. But San Martin, so now you're farther. Yes. It's my Leos, no? Yes. Oh, to San Salvador. Yes. Okay. Do you but, like it? Uh, I like it. Uh, the clima. The weather. The weather. Yeah, I remember San Martin. Okay, cool. And are you there, Angelica? Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Yes, I'm here. Hi, how was how was your vacation? I'm sorry. Um, it was very nice. I went to see uh, Super Mario Bros. premiere, mm -hmm. and I very like that movie. <laughs> hey, listen, and that movie is what three D or is human people or? It's animation three D. It's three D animation. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I recommend you to go to see it. You know, I, I really don't like those type of movies, but I would go see it for nostalgia because I remember Mario Brothers. I played Mario Brothers in the original Nintendo <laughs> when I was a little kid. So yeah, so everybody is, is in there. King Koopa, Toad, Joshi. 
The princess? Yes. They are. Oh. I'm going to download it. <laughs> yeah, or stream or seeing on a streaming. On Cueva. I think it's I think it's on May that uh, the Blu-ray Blu-rays uh, go out. I don't know how to say it, Salir. Come out. Come out. Oh. Do you have Claro video? Class, does anybody have Claro video? No. Oh. No. Oh, I didn't know I had Claro Video because I pay the internet with Claro. So I didn't know that Claro Video was free. <clears throat> I was, wow. So I watched this series. It's very, very good. <clears throat> See, I'm a Tulsa king. El Rey de Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's with Sylvester Stallone. It's good. Teacher, it's hmm? free, claro video. I have internet. <laughs> you should you should check because I didn't know. Oh, oh. I didn't know. So one day I was actually reading my email <laughs> and it said noticias nuevas para tu claro video. What the hell's claro? I thought claro video was cable because I oh. pay I pay cable, but I never watch it. Oh. But I'm okay, wait. Claro o cable. So one day I called and I said, What is Claro video. Ah, es el portal, la plataforma de tipo Netflix. Really? I have that? Yes. Oh, <laughs> so I started watching. Okay, I will check. Yeah, you should you should check in your contract. Okay. <laughs> All right. But Lisa, is your daughter okay now? Yes, teacher. She is the better. Yes, teacher, you go better. <laughs> hey, she's paying attention. That's good. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me, let me, <clears throat> let me share my screen. Did you go to the Scorpions concert? No, oh, teacher. My friends went and they said it was very, very good. So maybe I will go next time. <clears throat> Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, it says, by the end of this lesson, participants will know how to identify Relative and non-relative clauses. Let's see. Can you hear? No. 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 Welcome to a new section. Are you ready to give essential or optional information about someone or something? We hope you still remember how to do it. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. A defining relative clause defines or gives essential information about a noun. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Salvador is famous for food and music that trace their origins to Africa. A non-defining relative clause gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. Seoul, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics, is well known for its shopping. There are many temples and shrines in Kyoto, which used to be the capital of Japan. Defining relative clauses function like adjectives because they add information about a noun or a noun phrase. They must always immediately follow the noun they describe. They give essential information about the noun. People like to go to restaurants that have good food. Non-defining relative clauses. 
Non-defining relative clauses also describe a noun, but the information they give is not essential. They are set off by commas. That restaurant which has good food is the most popular one in town. Just to help you out a bit, look at the following charts. They are used in defining and non-defining relative clauses. Set off by commas. That restaurant which has relative clauses. Hold on. They must always immediately follow the noun they describe. Okay, let's do it simple. <clears throat> Relative clauses, they give essential information. They give essential information about the noun. People like to go to restaurants that have good food. Non-defining relative clauses. Non-defining relative clauses also describe a noun, but the information they give is not essential. Okay, so listen. <clears throat> so, a non a, def, a non defined relative a defining and non defining relative clauses what is the difference the information the information one in a defining defining the information is essential mcdonald's is a fast food restaurant correct yes Okay, okay. It's essential. Essential Okay, now, but if I say McDonald's, which is very expensive and ugly, is it's a fast food restaurant, that's a non-defined clause. Why? Because my information is not essential. What is not essential right there? Ugly and expensive. Expensive. Good. And that was an example because I love McDonald's, <laughs> but it, it was an example. <clears throat> Let me give you an example. Um, you tell me if it's defining or non defining. Bird. Which, we yes, are not, Claudia. We are not seeing the your screen. We are seeing your image. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so let me give you an example. You tell me if it's defining, defining or non-defining. Okay. Bird. Biden, who is a very stupid president. No, Biden, who is very stupid, is the president of the United States. Is that non-defying or defying? Mm, I think it's not defining. Well, yeah, I mean, what is the non-defying? That uh, he's a stupid. Okay, but the defying is that he is the president of the United States. So the non-essential is he is stupid. <laughs> he is. <laughs> no, here he is, man. That man is not. And then the essential is he is the president. Jonathan. Yes. Wait, I'm thinking. Leo Messi is the world champion. Yes. Is that non-essential or essential? He's essential. Yes, he's essential. Because you like it or not, he is the champion. Now listen to this. Can you give me an example? Give me giving me a non-essential with Leo Messi, but at the end, he is the world champion? Mm. 
Uh, Lido Messi is, is short. Okay, so Leo Messi, comma, who is short? Comma. Leo, Go ahead. Leo Messi, who is short? Is the world champion. Leo Messi, who is short, is the... What? <laughs> world champion. Who is Messi? Okay, let, let's see. Let's see this. Who is it's Messi? A, it's a... It's a famous he's, player. He's, he's a famous soccer. soccer player. Okay, he's soccer a famous player. He's a famous soccer player. Or he is the world champion, correct? Now, those two are essential information because it's true. Yes, he's a soccer player. He's the champion. He's Argentinian. Okay, those are essential. Non-essential is when you give when you give more information about me about Messi, that is non-essential. Like in your case, Messi, who is short, is the world champion. It's the world champion. Yes, can you repeat, please? You are in mute. Sorry. Messi, who is short, is a world champion. It's a world champion. Okay. Do you know Scarlett Johansson? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so listen to this. Scarlett Johansson, who is my ex-girlfriend, is a great actress. Hey, is my example? I can I can say whatever. So, what is what is the what is non-essential there? <laughs> you mentioned that she was your ex-girlfriend. Okay, good. Yeah, that part was not essential. The essential part was that she was a great. She is a great actress. She is. Are you drinking coffee, by the way? Yes. I drink it's coffee. Oh, yeah. And I drink very strong coffee. In a, in a big cup. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> Angela. Thank you. Juan Gabriel, who was gay, is a wonderful singer. Yes. Yeah. What is non-essential there? Uh, Juan Gabriel is wonderful singer? No. No. Okay, let's change. Essential for important. Oh. So listen to my... If somebody asks me, who is Juan Gabriel? Oh, Juan Gabriel, who was gay, is a wonderful singer. Was a wonderful singer. For you, in that sentence, what is important? A wonderful singer. Yes, he was a wonderful singer. What yes. is not important? He was gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the essential and non-essential. So it's an example, right? I love Juan Gabriel, man. Yes. <laughs> I really like him. I, I saw him two times in concert. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man, excellent concerts. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Susan. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. We're doing essential and non-essential. So uh, basically, in other words, essential is when you give essential information. And non-essential is when you give information that really is not necessary, just like extra information. Example, watch. Nayib Bukele, who is the best president, example, okay? 
Nayib Bukele, who, who, who is the best, is the president of El Salvador. For you, Susan, right there, what is essential? Uh, the essential is that he is the president, president of El Salvador. Yeah. And then the non-essential is who is the best? Because yeah. it's, it's an opinion. Okay, good. So it's simple, right, class? Hey, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see, Gerardo. Yes, teacher. You like rock music, you said, right? Yes, I like rock. Queen. Queen. No, no, no. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, who is an overrated band, is a rock band. Let me change. Foo Fighters, who are overrated, is a rock band. Do you understand? Yes, teacher, I understand. Do you think they are overrated? No. They are really good. Yeah. No, maybe they're good, but I think they're overrated. Do you know, class, what is overrated? Yes. Okay. For example, Please don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. But really, I think Mexico Gonzalez is overrated. <laughs> I love football, Indeed. but it's true. <laughs> I mean, he was excellent, he was good, but we exaggerate. <laughs> the best in the history, the best, come on. He, I mean, yes, he was good, but oh, really? Bob, thank you for not killing me because of, when I say that to my friends, what, you're crazy. But he was good. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. He was a good player. Right? He was. Not too much. But yeah. but you know the the problem with him is like it's like when people say Ronaldinho is the best in history, and I say no. Because Ronaldinho, how old is Ronaldinho now? Thirty eight. Forty. Forty. Yeah, but Ronaldinho was good when he was twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and he disappeared. So that's what I tell people. I love Messi. I hate Cristiano Ronaldo, but I admit and I accept that they are very good athletes because they were good when they were 20, 25, 30, 35, and they are still good. So, you know, that's what I tell people. So if you want to say Ronaldinho is the best in history, you can't compare. Similar to um, Mexico Gonzalez. Remember Cienfuegos, Gerardo? Yes, I remember. He was good. Uh, 90s. He was a good player in the 90s. He was good. All right. And, hey. and Diaz Arce. They Diaz were a Arce. good couple. Yes, but for me, I, I think, I think really, I think Cienfuegos maybe is the best soccer player. Because he, he was very disciplined and he had a good, a good, yeah. Ronald, where are you in your patio? Yes, Hello. that's right. My grandfather admires a soccer player. His name is Francisco Barraza. He is from San Miguel. Yes. Yes. No, my, my grandfather is from San Miguel, and I guess that player used to play in Aguila, right? Yes. Do you want to hear a funny story? Do you know that Francisco, he died. He, he used to live in Santa Anita. And um, he was a taxi driver at the end. But the funny thing is that when he went to El Barraza to watch a game, they charge him. <laughs> you know, he said, oh, my God, this stadium is my name. And now, yeah, really good. OK, five dollars, please. <laughs> El Barraza. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let me see. Let's do the next page. In my opinion, here, um, 
with defining and non-defining clauses when chambres start. Yes. Example, imagine Claudia, que andaba de parranda y era, no vino a trabajar hoy. Yes or no, like, oh, <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's bad. You're doing bad. Where's Claudia? Claudia, who was partying all night yesterday, I saw it on the Facebook, she didn't come to work today. You know, <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> I, I remember I used to do that with my little brothers and sisters. It's like uh, cizaña. Yes, yeah, cizaña. Hmm. Mamá, fíjate que Omar, que no ha terminado su tarea, ya está viendo tele. Oh. Hey, mom, Omar, who hasn't finished his homework, he's watching, he's playing video games. Omar, vení. <clears throat> okay, do you see my screen? Yes. So, okay, yes, so, teacher. Okay, good. So we finished that video. Okay, yeah. so read. It says, read the following sentences, identify the relative clause, then rewrite. The same sentences add commas where necessary. Remember capital letters and periods. Bangkok, which is the capital of Thailand, has many excellent restaurants and markets. What did you guys put? After Bangkok? And Thailand. Bangkok, coma. Bangkok. Okay. Coma. So Bangkok. Is that how you spell Bangkok? Bangkok, which is the capital of Thailand, coma, right? Oops. So Bangkok, which is the capital of Thailand, has many excellent restaurants and markets. Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997 when it was returned to China. What did you put here? Hong Kong was a um, British Is this correct or not? There is a missing uh, who before <clears throat> was, who was a British, I think. Hong Kong. Oh. Hong Kong. Good. But, but what happens here is not who is which. Oops. Who is only for people? Yes. Hong Kong, which was a British colony. Very good. Thank you. Susan is a busy port city. I'm sorry, Susan. Buzzin. It's a busy port city that is located in South Korea. <clears throat> Busan is a busy port city. That is located in South Korea. Honestly, I think this is correct. Yeah, it's more like a like a, a like a, um, affirmation. Yeah, it is. But knowing the knowing this system is gonna be wrong, watch. Yeah. But don't sweat that. Bogota, 
which is situated on a high plateau in central Colombia, has frequently changing weather. So here, what, what's missing here? Just the commas, I think. All right, where do the commas go? <clears throat> After Bogota, Bogota, which is situated on a high plateau mm -hmm. in central Colombia, comma, right? Yes. yes, has frequently changing weather. As frequently <clears throat> I don't think this is right. <clears throat> because the two are verbs. So Colombia has frequent changing weather, but Montreal is a sophisticated city where some the best mm -hmm. cuisine mm -hmm. in Canada is found. Montreal is a sophisticated city where some FO, the best cuisine in Canada is found. Montreal is a sophisticated city, come. Here, I'm going to leave that one in blank because something is wrong here. Hmm. Sao Paulo, which is the biggest city in Brazil, is also one of the mo world's most popular cities. Let's see the answers. Montreal is sophisticated with some for the best cuisine. What the hell? What is some for? What is that? I'm sorry, I don't understand. It, it's it, it's it, it, they want to mean of some of the best cuisine in Canada. Oh, okay, of. yes, we're some uh -huh. of. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Eduardo. Now it makes sense. Sao Paulo, which is the biggest city in Brazil, is also one of the world's most popular city. Bogota, which is situated on a high plateau, plateau is in central Colombia. Has plateau in central Colombia has frequent cha frequently changing weather. Bogota, which is uh, Busan, is a busy port city that is located in South Korea. I don't know, Rick. I don't think this needs a comma here. Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997, comma, when it was returned to China. Bangkok, which is the capital of Thailand, has many excellent restaurants and markets. Okay, cool. Let's talk about cities. Hi. Let's go over some words, which will help you talk a little bit about your city. Describing a city, architecture, cuisine, costumes, festival, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, shopping. What are some important features for you? Talk to your classmates and teacher about the ideal place for you to live in. Try to use the words just learned. Hi, let's go over some words which will help you talk a little bit about your city. Describing a city, architecture. Okay, let's do this. Do you see this, this nouns, architecture? When we think of architecture in El Salvador, which pueblo or which city do you think of? Santa Ana. Santa Ana, yes, that's one. Suchitoto. Suchitoto, yeah, I was thinking of Suchitoto too. What about cuisine? Mm. 
like the typical uh, breakfast, eggs, and, and beans. Customs. <laughs> Which? Customs is traditions. Yes, it's like traditions. Okay. Festivals, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, shopping. You understand scenery, correct? I don't, I'm sorry, no. Okay, the scenery, it can be anything that is beautiful to your eye. Okay, thank you. Like when you go and you say, wow, I love the scenery. You know, like when somebody gets married in the beach and then a person usually puts like, I don't know, they make a scenery on the, on the sand, like, wow, nice scenery. If I'm not wrong, there was like an event where people went to, to see some pictures, right? Here in this country, wasn't it here? It was like a meme. Van Gogh, yes. Yes, but it was funny because the, the the pictures were not as they expected them to be. I was going to go, but I heard something happened. That it was very short. It was not, yes, it was like ha the full, the complete show didn't come. I don't know. <clears throat> I wanted to go because I love Van Gogh. But, okay. <clears throat> but scenery is that. It's like um, when you watch a movie, let me see, like, which movie has beautiful scenery? I like Avatar. I'm not sure if that's a good example. Yeah, Avatar, Avatar has good scenery. Now, I like Star Wars. Star Wars, okay, but that in that case, it's digital scenery. Okay, good. There's natural scenery, digital scenery, okay? So... Architecture. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. I like I like watching. I like watching like those Mexican movies, black and white. <laughs> the scenery is very, or like telenovelas, you know, like Colombianas or something. Like La Patrona o El Patron, La Casa del Patron, you know, like <clears throat> the scenery of the big haciendas. I, I like that. I like watching that. It's cool. There is one which is awesome and is Life of P, I guess that's the name. Oh, that's a beautiful movie. When he is in, in an island uh, at the night, in the night, it's, I mean, I like the, the sky. It has so many different colors and I'm not yes. sure if that could be real. No, no, no. That, that movie, that movie 90% was green screen. <laughs> No, but I mean, when we see oh. some pictures on Pinterest or those apps. No, yeah, you, you see, it's true because you, you see like the stars in the sky look better where there's no light. So, yes, if you're, if you're in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean at midnight, it's going to be beautiful. Hey, Ronald, I have a question for you. In Life of Pi, do you think he was really talking to the tiger at the end? He was really... What was the, the question? I'm sorry. Do you think he was really talking with the tiger or his father? He was really talk, talking. Ah, the, if he was talking to the, to the tiger. Yes. Uh, I mean, it was like... That's what I like about that movie because at the end you really don't know. Yes, it's, it's if if the story was true or not, and it's maybe ambiguous. maybe it's ambiguous. The, maybe the tiger was not the tiger. Was it? I don't. Know. It's a good movie though. Okay, so let me see, Claudia Hiron, tell me about a city that it's it's okay. Now listen, this is very important. I'm I'm going to give you an example. And um, like, like I told you, Naibu Kele, who is 
a young person is the president. ¿Por qué dije who? Because Nayib Bukele is a person. Yes? Now, in this case, architecture, obviously, we're going to talk about a place. So we can't say who. So we're going to use the pronoun which. Yes. For example, uh, Suchitoto, which architecture is very, um, what is the architecture of Suchitoto? Colonial. Colonial. Colonial, Colonial yes. It's a very beautiful place in El Salvador. Yeah, so Suchitoto, which architecture is very, it's colonial. It's a very beautiful place in El Salvador, okay? Give an example, Claudia Giron, with architecture. Santa Tecla has beautiful architectural places, which are in central, Santa Tecla in the center. Okay. Okay, okay good, good. Ra okay, now you choose somebody, please, from your class oh, okay. and tell them, and you give them the noun. Mm. Arbert. With cuisine. Mm, cuisine. Well, I think. Uh... Let me give you a clue. Well, uh, cuisine. Yeah. This is the right pronunciation, right? Cuisine. Cuisine, cuisine yes. It's actually a okay. French cuisine. word. Cuisine. Uh, the city of the city called Tepetque City I, has the best cuisine in El Salvador. Really? It's an example. I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, no, maybe. No, I, really, I didn't. Okay, good. You know, that's very sad in El Salvador. We don't really have cuisine, right? We only have pupusas. No, I mean, I mean, we have good cuisine, but it's not, it's not like Mexico, man. Mexico is so big that every state has a different plate. Like one state is famous for the mole, or another state is famous for this. Yeah, I was thinking like um, I do not agree because I feel like El Salvador took like the best of any country, like tacos or or noodles or Chinese food. They take like the best of any anyone. Yeah, but we have pupusas, man, and that's <laughs> yeah. No, you know what else you can say that I remember? Um, what's this place? La Ruta de las Flores, Guayua. Guayua, too, which is famous for its cuisine. It's good. Okay, good. Bert, choose somebody, please, with a different name, with a different noun. Okay, Gerardo Represa and uh, Nightlife. Okay, night, night, night light is like um, literally uh, a good um, view of a night at the sky. No, night life. Uh, night life. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, sorry. Um, the city of San Salvador, which is famous of its night life. Very good, yes. Yes, that's a, that's a very common question when you're a tourist and you go somewhere and you say, hey, where's the nightlife here? So people say, oh, yeah, you know. Like, um, Bert, the nightlife in San Miguel is in La Luzbel, no? Yes, definitely. That's right. El Triangulo also. El Triangulo, yeah, I remember El Triangulo. Sarape still exists? 
I think so. I mean, is it? Yes, it still succeeds, right? You know, the, that restaurant is is very is very cool. I never seen something like that here in 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 San Salvador. The concept of Sarap in San Miguel was good. You know what? A class that restaurant. It was restaurant bar, yeah. So let's say you go at eight, you you know you go and it's eight and eight at night, and there's a show. There's a show of like dancers, um, Brazilian dancers. Uh, it's it's very good. I remember there was this this guy. He was from Brazil. He came out with machetes, man. You know, he started doing like. Colombian dancing, cumbia dancing, very good organized for one hour. Then after the hour, it's disco time. You know, people dance. And then the next hour is another show. And this show is, is talent, I think it's a talent. And then the next hour, dancing again. And then the next hour, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gente and I'm like happy is the comedy hour. And that's funny because the imitator of Juan Gabriel, the imitator of Ebuki, and um, this this professional man, he imitates everybody. And it's funny, like, <laughs> you know, and suddenly you are in there for five hours, very drunk. <laughs> so I remember, I, I never seen a restaurant like that here. You know, one hour this, one hour that. One hour dancing again, one hour that. So it was cool. Okay. Uh, what was next? Bert, you asked. Bert, ask someone now. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, no, no. Gerardo, yes, yes. Bert asked you. Gerardo, you ask somebody, please. Um, Ronald. Okay. Ah, I I had to choose. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You don't. You, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that that example. You can say whatever. You know. You can say like caffeine, vitamin C. But I would choose one. Okay. And festival. Festival, okay. Uh, well, festivals are pretty common in this country because each each city and municipio municipio is that okay? Yeah. Okay, and each municipio has its own party. Yeah. Like, hey, you know what, Ronald? It, that's okay because man, in El Salvador, some of them complicados está. Departamento, Colonia, Vecindad, eh, Canto, cancer, Cacerío, cancer, man, there's so many things. Lo que tú dices, ciudad, municipio. I don't, I don't really know what the hell is the difference between municipio and ciudad. Pero that. In the U.S., they don't get complicated. They just say a street. <laughs> yes, it's a uh, you, street or you say a town or a city. You have the state, California, you have the city, and you have a town, a pueblo. Do you like going to festivals? Because I have never gone to, to any festival. It's not like my favorite place to be. Yeah, I, I remember a long time ago, I used to go to the San Miguel Carnival. That was good. That one is awesome, the uh, people say. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Is it expensive to 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 buy food there or drink? No, no, it's actually cheap because everything is in the street. So you're actually buying food in the street. And there's like a there's like a discotheque in every block. And there's roller coasters, right? Yeah. And yeah. how how much were there? Were them? 
I think it's like the normal price, like like it like the San Salvador fair, you know, two dollars. Oh, okay. But what happens in the Carnival of San Miguel is like that. I remember is like if you like if you like tropical music, you gotta go to that colonia because that colonia and that's a pasaje. They, they only play salsa, merengue, whatever. If you like pop music, you go here. If you like rock music, you go there. Or you can just change and you walk. And everything is free. And I imagine this year is going to be very nice because, you know, no matter. <laughs> it's interesting because, for example, if you visit any, like, bar at night, when they are, like, sing singing live, they always sing the same songs. I mean, Musica Ligera is a good song. But yeah. they always sing the same one, it's and it's getting. I I get I get bored of the same. Oh yeah. Oh, but I remember that you told us that sometimes you like to be alone. Huh? No, you know. No, um, I mean, I, I like going out, but it's always the same, and I just want to to experiment a different. Uh, but I remember. Day. I remember the last time I went to. A San Miguel Carnival. I was in downtown, and I was in the middle, and there were four different groups in every corner. But well, listen to this: in one corner there was Tigres del Norte. In the next one, I think it was um, Nietzsche. It was Nietzsche. I like Nietzsche the salsa. And then it was um, Aniceto Molina, and I think Marito Rivera. But imagine, so like, who should I watch? Hey, let's go watch the theaters in order so you go here. Hey, let's go watch Manito Rivera. And everything was free. I like rock music, but hey, theaters in Norte are rock, my friend. <laughs> None. No, but it was good. All right. Uh, Claudia Giron. Let me see. Let me see how good you are. Jabra headsets. Are, are your headsets Jabra, Susan? I don't know. <laughs> I think they are. I think they're similar to mine. Maybe. Um, I don't know why I, I haven't noticed that. Let me see. Let me see this. Do you have this? I don't. I uh, no, no, they're different. No, I don't have it. Oh. It's like... just a little, a little box like this. You know, you oh, see okay. it. Uh -huh. yeah. So no. Do you have a mute? No, no. You don't have a mute there. No. Mm -mm. You immediately mute. You're mute. Oops, I wasn't mute. So, okay, so Claudia, Jabra, Jabra headsets. Actually, I'm not using Jabra headsets. They are plantatronics. Um, oh, those are good too. Okay, good. Uh, plantonics. Yes, plantonics. Okay, so tell me something about plantonics. Essential information. Mm, they are. Good are for? There is a brand that usually um, sells um, headsets. And I don't know how can I. No, but that? okay. No, what I was trying for you to tell me is like, for example, plantonics are good for call centers. Ah. Or plantonic headsets are good to work at home. Okay. Plantonic uh, headsets are good um, to work on site. Okay, good. Uh, yes. Okay, good. And, and you know, this happens because sometimes like during during the COVID, everybody called me, my family. Mira, it, which headsets are good para que niño vea las clases, you know, because everybody was buying the Maxell and the Sony. And like I, I always told them, look, in my opinion, I think Jabra or Plantonics 
are the best for for talking and listening. The mute. Okay. okay. We take out. Yeah, because you know some people like, you know, they buy the big ones and, and this and that. And really, you don't need that. These are good. I mean, they're good size, and can, you can. Mm -hmm. And they're good. They have noise reduction. Thank you. I was in a dilemma because I want to change the one that I have. I have. And they cost like they cost like twenty dollars. Between fifteen and twenty dollars is not bad. Okay, let me see. And Angela. Yes, yeah. Fresco de carao. Fresco give, de carao. give me essential and non-essential information about carao. Fresco de carao is um <laughs> Um, uh, no essential information. Excuse me? Fresco de carao. Is... Imagine I am from Mexico and I say, Angela, what is carao? What, what, what is carao? It's, um, Information? No. Extension information. I, I, I don't understand no. that. I'm sorry. No. 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 It's uh, only for <laughs> Think. Think basic. What is Fresco Carao? Fresco Carao is the. The um, I don't know is you know I don't know is como no sé cómo explicarlo. <laughs> Why? Eh, es como, es como no es una bebida muy común, digamos. Podría decir. No, no se complique, sí, sí. porque me va a la historia del fresco de carao. <laughs> Por eso no es. No, don't complicate. Uh, Carao, which doesn't smell good. Yes. <laughs> people drink it. Something simple. Uh -huh. Don't complicate. Don't, don't tell me the Wikipedia of Carao. Carao. You, know, you know, Carao, which smells terrible. Which smells terrible. The... People yes. drink it. Yes. Yes, you know, that. that's what... Um, Remember, think easy. Don't don't give me the definition. Oh, carao is a plant in <laughs> in the mountains of I don't know where the plant is black and you put it in water. Porque mi hijo que es. So think easy. Like if si alguien me pregunta, hey, what is carao? Oh man, carao, something stinks. It smells bad, but people drink it in juice. Porque fresco. Nosotros decimos fresco en México, dice aguas. Aguas. Eh, eh, y a la larga jugo. Something is juice. Juice de carao. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. Yes. So remember, class, when, when, whenever you think something's complicated, just think basic. Don't okay, think Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, don't think Wikipedia. <clears throat> Man, I envy you, Ronald. It looks very... The weather looks very fresh where you are. <laughs> yes, it is. That's you know what? I, I, li I live like five minutes from the Stadio Cuscatlan, and it looks like it's going to rain. Is it raining by your house? No, it's it's cold, just cold. It's not uh, cloudy. No. Maybe it will rain tonight. Okay, class. Thank you very much. But it's it was because you get to listen all the concerts uh, in the stadium. But you know what? The 
not the best concert, the best sound and el sonido of a concert. You know where I live exactly, El, el Paso de Jaguar? Do you know that? Man, sometimes you hear the noise, like, but very, very, very distant. For example, the Scorpions, eh, very distant. Pero the Daddy Yankee, man. Hasta aquí, like the windows of my house are like, boom, 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 boom. Like, <clears throat> ese chavo sí trajo un sonido, man. Porque no sé, yo me quedé. I thought, I thought it was a party. Like, había una fiesta for, you know, like a neighbor somewhere. And then, Daddy Yankee. So. <clears throat> Dios le da pan al que no tiene hambre. Yeah. Pero todos los conciertos que han venido, creo que es el que mejor he oído de que me quedé. Oh. So I could imagine the people inside were like, boom, boom. Por lo menos traía buen sonido ese chamaco. Ojalá que Romeo Santos no se oiga, man. Please, 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 please. That's next. <laughs> Okay, class. Thank you very much. It was nice to see you today. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. <laughs>